The Community Cooperative Ministry Soup Kitchen in Fort Myers, Florida, serves hundreds of meals each day to the less fortunate. Sam Galloway, owner of Sam Galloway Ford, founded the agency with his church after witnessing a huge need in the community. We started a soup kitchen type thing in the church down uh, on 2nd Street and um, started out with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches about 20 something years ago out of the back uh, trunk of a car to needy people along the streets. And over the years we rented an old rickety building and then they were going to widen the street so we went into the eminent domain process and uh, quite an interesting story. Um, they made us an offer and I invited them all to lunch. And I said to them that this was God's work was this the best offer you could give me? I said, you don't have to answer to me, you have to answer to the big guy upstairs. So they came back after careful thought and gave us another $35,000, so. Then we built our new soup kitchen. Sam solicited more funds to expand services at Community Cooperative Ministries. Today, the agency offers medical treatment, job skills, meals on wheels, and much more for the homeless and poor. It has a Montessori school that is giving minority children a head start in school and in life. Education is the way out of, I guess for a better word, is the trap of society. And I can only imagine how great it is for a minority child to attend the Montessori school, learning the Montessori method, and graduate from Montessori and go into the first grade on a third grade level. What must that do for this child's confidence and ability to start off going into the first grade in the top part of his class or her class? Sam is the real deal. This is a person who, because of hard work and dedication, has built a very successful business. But he has taken that success and the benefits of that success and put it back into the community. He has identified the passion in his life. He is certain that he does not want people in this community to suffer. He does not want people in this community to go hungry. And so he has dedicated himself to saying, whatever I can do as an individual, whatever my influence can do, I'm willing to do that. Because of his love for Fort Myers, Sam took on the huge project of restoring the Thomas Edison and Henry Ford winter estates. After millions of dollars in renovation, the site is now a popular educational and historical attraction. Hundreds of thousands visit the homes, gardens, museum, and laboratory. Sam Galloway is the man who had the passion, the vision, the dream for making this happen. Uh, that's when he started with the foundation that he created to raise the money to do that, and that was his goal. Sam also served as chairman of a citizen's advisory committee uh, to the city council back when uh, the city operated the estates. And uh, for years, uh, he worked at finding ways to improve the estates and really is the person who made all this happen because of his vision for what could be done to restore these estates to their prime condition and to get them recognized as the national and international treasure that they are. Although Sam Galloway is a well-respected businessman in the Fort Myers area, he always will be well known for his charitable endeavors. God has been good to me, and I think that He expects me to be good to others. I firmly believe do unto others. And it's not a question of anything but being the right thing to do. And it's something that gives me great pleasure. The pleasure is contagious, Sam, and you've gone above and beyond in so many ways. The soup kitchen is a great thing, and how you got from A to Z 
to expand it into the cooperative ministries that you could provide even more to the community, your efforts with the Montessori School, and your work, as I well know, with restoring the Edison Ford Estate landmark so that it can be used to educate all of us is remarkable. My congratulations on your Salute to Dealers Award and thank you for the many lives you have touched in such a positive way.